Hey guys, this is going to be your Cards of the Day Weekend Edition. I've already been shuffling the cards, so let's see what comes out for Saturday and Sunday, May 11th and May 12th. Oh wow, beautiful. So the first two cards, Prince of Hearts and Six of Wands. So for some of you guys, this is going to be an apology, and it's something you've been waiting a long time for. Or it's something you've been waiting a long time to do is make an apology. Ooh, okay. And sometimes I have a person, uh, I have a person, I have a feeling this directly relates to a person who's had a hard time saying sorry. Either they have a hard time saying sorry or they have issues in expressing themselves. They may be the kind of person that expresses physically, like doing something nice for you or, you know, making up and making out, that kind of, you know, physical expression. Um, but they're not, I have a feeling it's somebody who usually doesn't have a lot to say and it's like they suddenly have things to say to you. Regrets, I've had a few. So they're sorry about something. There's a, a regret pertaining to you or involving you. And it's been a long time coming is what it feels like. This can also be an offer of love. Because Prince of Hearts is Prince Charming. This could be an offer to start something new. This could be somebody having enough uh, confidence to finally ask you out on that day or finally having enough con confidence to express, tell you that they love you. Maybe they haven't done it before and uh, you weren't sure if you could trust this person in a love relationship because you weren't feeling like you were being loved or you weren't being told or shown. Okay, the way that you wanted it expressed is finally it's finally going to be expressed like if if you have a need you're going to get what you need basically okay getting a need fulfilled like if you haven't felt that somebody told you uh, you haven't felt that somebody loved you you're now going to be feeling like they love you okay you if you haven't if somebody hasn't been showing you that they love you they're going to show you that they love you if you haven't heard I love you, they're going to tell you I love you, okay? It always happens in a variety of ways. So it could be one, it could be a combination of two, it could be all three of them because twos and threes, I keep getting channeled twos and threes. Two to three day delivery. <laughs> so some of you guys could get a gift or a surprise, some kind of offer. Somebody who loves you could be giving you some kind of gift. Could be a physical gift or the gift of their love or... I, I heard surprise party. So there could be some kind of surprise party that they're throwing for you. Some kind of event where you get recognized and get praised. Because Six of Wands is also about recognition. And, you know, with all the announcements, graduations, coming home, welcome home, moving, new job, new baby, new marriage, new family, new, 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 all these, <laughs> new, 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 um, what is that, the little typewriter, Sesame Street, new, 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 yeah. <laughs> so typewriter right along with the themes typing up some invitations okay so this could be also be a birthday party a housewarming it could be somebody who loves you helping you with this party i'll help you with that don't worry about it i love you we'll figure this out six of wands is also about being social socially recognized social recognition people are watching you it's also like the victory walk. So this could be a celebration, a coming out party, or it, like I, I keep hearing graduation, but it's more than just graduation. Um, coming out party could be the birth of a baby. <laughs> Congratulations on your blank, basically. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm seeing that on a certificate too. Uh, 
It's recognition, admiration, and adoration for a, an accomplishment, something you've achieved. Okay, then we have the tower that just came out over here. The tower is about enlightenment or destruction. It's all in how you look at it. This looks like enlightenment, okay? This also, like I said, surprise party. So this could be a surprise party, <laughs> a surprise impromptu get together. Yeah, I'm really feeling the surprise party uh, component with that. Okay, that card fell on this. It touched this deck. So we're going to get a little confirmation there. What is this tower about? Because it's also about harmony, yeah? Heaven. So you could suddenly be in heaven. Like I said, surprise party. Or news. This could be, yeah, it could have to do with children too. The Prince of Hearts is a young child. Somebody being really happy that they've accomplished something. Hmm. The Empress. So the tower, the first card that popped out was the Empress. So you may be sitting at home chilling, um, sitting on the couch, eating some ice cream or watching TV, whatever. Um, probably not watching TV, probably more like reading a book or having a glass of wine. And then you have some people pop in to be like, hey, we just checking out. We just thought we'd stop by to tell you that you're awesome. <laughs> That popped into my head and that word too awesome is coming up quite a bit okay so this could be recognition of who you are and what you're doing and you may feel yeah the adoration and the love look the empress it representative of venus okay and like i said it could have something to do with children too the number three fertility so you literally could be being adored or praised or worship like a goddess or you could be uh f what did, what's the word not fretted over um i'm picturing like a bunch of grandma grandmas aunties cousins um fussing over you that's the word i'm looking for people are making a big fuss or a big whoop or a big ado about you they are talking about you. And this is in a positive way. This is loving adoration. They could literally be like, oh my God, you're a goddess. Hold on, guys. I got to put you on pause. Okay, I am back. Yeah, so literally there could be a surprise party or a surprise visit. Even a surprise visitation. Could be your mom. Mom suddenly coming to visit. And then we have, what do we have? Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. So, seven can be betrayal, it can be lies, it can be white lies, lies by uh, omittal. It can also be betrayal. It can also be standing in your own way. It can be writer's block. Opposition. What do I feel about this? Opposition to a partnership. Opposition to a thinking. Somebody, uh, yeah, it, it it could be a secret surprise party. They didn't say anything. Um, Seven of Swords can be betrayal, but, you know, like I said, um, lying by omission. So if somebody was keeping a secret gathering under wraps, could be... A surprise shower. Or a surprise birthday party. Or...
surprise divorce party. And they they put this together without telling you. So it's not really a betrayal. It's just they weren't telling you. We also have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So somebody's working the Law of Attraction here. And it looks like you might be getting word about some payback. Or it could be somebody saying, I'm doing this because I owe you. Queen of Swords is independence. It's not requiring validation. It's also self-reliant and taking care of the self. Cutting out the excess. So you may be revisiting 1111. I just looked up at the phone. You may be revisiting or communicating about Why am I getting dieting? News about, oh, this could, um, you're getting news about somebody paying you back for something. Or you could be talking about somebody. Being more, or discussing, this could be negotiations also. Discussing what needs to be done in a balanced and fair way. Or discussing what needs to be done to balance things out. Or make things more fair. This is negotiations. But you're the empress. So you're just kind of sitting back. And letting them come to you. You're. What's happening here. You are opening up to receive. And you're getting payback from the universe. This is owed to you. Or you could be telling somebody. You know what. You owe me a little bit more time. Or you owe me a little bit more money. Or you could be like. I deserve this. You could be feeling that you deserve it. Whatever this payback is. Six of Pentacles is. Some kind, something of monetary value coming back from the past, like maybe a, um, like the Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, you know, you had, you had the Nintendo, you had the 64, you had the Super Nintendo, you had, um, you had like all the Nintendo lines, but that was, you know, years ago, or whatever system you go with, I don't even care, this is just an example, you know, things from the childhood, so, like, they could be, I think they are, as a matter of fact, releasing um, a new video game console. So, a lot of things from the past coming back that's worth material value. We're seeing old movies, old candy, anything classic, anything vintage, um, old pictures. Um, this is like a possession, though, a material possession, like getting back. Getting back a backer. Independent. Oh, to you. For some of you guys, you may have broke up, uh, broken up in a relationship and, and you were cheated out of something or you didn't get something. It's now being returned to you. What was lost? What was once lost is now found, comes to mind. Now, this is physically, spiritually, and mentally. Okay, so in the physical plane, people can be appearing that you thought were lost or they were lost to you. They were, either, they were lost to you out of reach or out of touch or whatever. And this could be sudden communication, like I said, a surprise. Walking back into your life to protect you and give back what they feel they owe you. Wow. Making up for lost time is what I heard. 
This could also be like the jacket you had in high school, um, suddenly finding it, or like your mom comes to visit you on a surprise visit and she brings you something that she found while cleaning out the closets. Cause we've all, we're all going through that spring cleaning, right? People are moving or having to move. So we're having to go through all our material possessions, clear out the clutter. And one of those things might just have been a treasure. So you might be brought something back from the past that somebody felt was important to you. Like, here's your belongings, okay? They're not attached to it, so they thought they'd bring it back to you. Wow, cool. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's see what else. What do we got? Ten of Pentacles, like I said, protection. Okay, somebody is here to saying, I'm going to protect you now. So you are supported. Whatever you're going through, you have friends and family and people that truly love you. Okay, look, they're loving you right now. They love, adore, and admire you. They are worshiping you. Um, not necessarily the ground that you work on, but they're just like, oh my God, I love her so much. She's so awesome. I keep hearing the word awesome. Okay, and you know, because and be, they tell you you're awesome, you're taking it, thank you, thank you very much, but humbly, okay, thank you, thank you very much, and uh, it just makes you feel good knowing that people support you. For some, this could be an intervention of sorts. Somebody could have said, I know I need to quit doing something and I totally need help and then bam here comes your group of supporters showing up one day to support and protect you and you'll also find that anything you need is there oh 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 <laughs> damn somebody's moped is loud what are they fixing it outside fixer repairs coming up to a lot there's a mosquito stalking me. <laughs> oh, it's electric bikes. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? What a mess. Okay, so this feels like the way that the cards fell, it feels like like I said, there's going to be some news. And for some of you guys, uh, a certificate or some kind of measure of accomplishment. This could even be a check, tax return. Guys, uh, full moon and Scorpio coming up, death and inheritance. You guys could be getting some royalties. You could be getting your tax check. You could be, wow, you've got a lot of money coming back to you. A lot of abundance surrounding this time. There could be something that happens, a gift that balances finances. I, I keep hearing certificate. This could literally be silver. Silver is important too. This could be a silver certificate, money, okay, bonds, um, IRA, um, yeah, bonds, stocks, certificates, that kind of um, financial thing. It could be a check. It could be a money order, a gift certificate. Yeah, I keep hearing gifts. There's a lot of gifts surrounding this situation. People want to give you gifts because they adore you, love you. You could also be getting a paper about a trust. Okay. Um, a paper about a trust that you're now qualified for. Or this could be even a loan or an inheritance. Um... Or on the negative side, I see that you're trying to do good. I would like to help you out. We want you to go into rehab. 
or we want you to go into therapy, they surprise they surprised you with an intervention. It was like a sneak attack from somebody that you loved. For others, you could have been in control and power of something and it was a coup. They literally came from behind and took you down, pulled the rug out under you and dethroned you, took the power away from you. Okay, at the same time saying, we love you, we know you've done a lot for us, but your services are no longer needed, is what I just heard. Okay, sorry about that. Somebody just came and brought me Lao Lao for lunch. Yay! How nice. I was just uh, thinking I was getting a little thirsty too, and I was going to go have lunch immediately after I finished this weekend reading, and I turn around and, oh, look, I was ahead of myself. I already had a... Um, iced tea earlier and then somebody came and brought me la la so i'm like okay well i take it i'm not supposed to leave the store then i should be fine um i've been taken care of <laughs> and like i was saying somebody loves you so they come and bring you a gift look at that <laughs> i got some la la today from a good friend of mine that I, I love her i love her she does always take care of me so this could also be a message that somebody is coming and this is going to change things for you. You might have somebody coming into your household. Is some kind of could be your parents, could be a nurturing figure, an auntie, uh, grandma, sister, cousin. Um, in Hawaii, here in Hawaii, everybody is grandma, auntie, tutu, sister, that kind of deal. But it could also be a physical male with female energy because to me the Six of Pentacles can also, not only is it payback, it can also be like the father or the main money maker in the family. And it could be a woman because we have the that with the Queen of Swords. So this could be an independent woman that is the head of a family, which is very common in Hawaii because we are the matriarchy. The Hawaiians were matriarchs. We did have our king, but as far as family structure, you know, we were a village. We were a village. Everybody's auntie, everybody's sister, everybody, you know, that kind of thing. We're all related and we treat each other as so. There is no step, stepbrother, stepsister, stepparent. There is no half. There is no, you know, cousins are cousins. I don't care if you're fourth cousin or fifth cousin. You're my cousin, and that's just the end of the story. <laughs> okay, so this could be like um, cousins keep coming up too. So cut your, you could be being supported by your cousins, nurturing support, or they could be coming to visit you. Some of all the independent women throw your hands up in the air. They could have gotten tickets for something, and they just show up one day. Hey, I got tickets for a concert, or I got tickets for, for this museum. Come on, let's go, you know. Um, you could be, like, literally kidnapped or hijacked from whatever you're doing and, uh, like, kidnapped by the family for a family excursion kind of deal. <laughs> that's, um, that's what I'm getting. That's what's coming to me right now. Okay, and those, for those of you who are negative, you're being confronted with something, somebody loves you, they're telling you they're going to support you, it could be a gaggle of women that popped into my head, gaggle, like geese, you know, the woman talking around, blah, 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 uh, you know, drinking coffee or drinking wine, the older women, the aunties and the grandma, and the, uh, the um, grandma's best friend, your auntie's best friend, your cousin's mom, and all her friends, that kind of deal, you know, um, older, mature, woman, uh, somebody who's more mature than you, and it doesn't have to be physically, it can be mentally, or you could be the one that's more mature than them, because we have a young love, a young offer of love, or somebody who loves you no matter what, okay, they've loved you since you were a child, they've loved you since they were a child, loving from St stemming from the childhood. This could be a TRO, Ten of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. You might get that order of protection. 
a physical order of protection, or this could be protection of assets. This could also be somebody, an old boss or an old co coworker, somebody you worked for or worked under or worked with, or somebody you knew from a previous job coming back. They might just, oh. I want to say some old man, okay? That was the first thing that wanted to come out of my mouth. Some old man is wanting to give you their business. They want you to be the one to take over, okay? So some of you guys may be getting some very interesting news. What do we got here? Okay, Prince of Wands. It's this way, so it should be a little bit reversed. So I feel like Prince of Wands can be excited communication. It wasn't completely sideways. It's only slightly sideways, which would make it not quite reversed. So that tells me there's a little bit of a slowdown, a little bit of control. You want to move forward, but you're controlling yourself. You're controlling your excitement or you're not telling somebody you're excited about something that falls right in line with this surprise here okay because it's not fully upside down when it's upside down it's like lacking motivation being lazy or dragging your ass and not wanting to do something whereas this way this can be excited communication it could also be angry communication i'm feeling You can hardly hide your excitement. That's what I'm feeling with this. Okay, and these two are slightly turned this way, slightly reversed. Okay, so reverse means you've got a lot of things to do. And because it's only slightly reversed, it's like a quarter turn instead of being completely reversed. It's like... You've got a lot on your plate, but you're really excited. This could be, I've got a lot to take care of, or I've got a lot of things to do. Princess of Swords is also reversed. So that's protecting your information. It's also ideas. It can be the card of spying. So in reverse, Two of Wands. I've got a lot of things to do. Not spying. I've got a lot of things to do and I have to keep it under wraps so nobody can see or you can't look. Don't peek is what this feels like. Don't peek <laughs> is what I heard. Wow. Okay. Don't peek, no cheat. Hide and go seek comes to mind. This could be, yeah, you could literally have to do some kind of treasure hunt. Easter egg hunt. I feel I'm seeing like a blindfold. Somebody saying don't peek. They're excited. You're not sure where to start, but you're kind of flying blind. Yeah, I have no idea where to start. I'm excited to get moving. And then we have death and the lovers. So death is about physically, mentally, and spiritually. So it's a type of transformation or mutation. This can be an end to something, but this can also be an end to an era. The beginning of a new legacy of never, ever having to be the victim again because you you've changed now you're grateful for every day that you have now you're grateful for the one true love for the people around you that truly love you that truly care and you're also you've changed you're now honest when yes last yesteryear last year it could even be as soon as last year, you know, because uh, one of the themes is years later or one year later, five years later, ten years later. So this is basically 
one year later, you're a completely different person. You don't lie, you don't cheat, you don't steal, you don't hate, you're grateful, you have integrity and you're honest, you make the right choices, okay? So there could be some people acknowledging that you are not the same person that you used to be. You've grown, you're so much better now, you've matured. So you could get some props, literally, figuratively. <laughs> um, yeah, props. Different kinds of props, like uh, knuckles or congratulations, you did it, or you're the best, you the best is what I heard. Um, co coincidentally, not my family's last name is Dobbis, so it could be like this recognition. Somebody could be like, hey, are you related to the Dobbis family? For me, you know, so it's just, you know, <laughs> it's all in the words. It's truly literal. Okay, so it could happen. Oh my god, I got four cards. Okay, so uh, like I was saying, somebody could be thinking about, oh, am I getting fat or whatever? Kuakino, transforming your body, shape-shifting, okay? And it's about new knowledge, your knowledge about joy. A space, a space for... Fertility. So some of you guys could be looking at your body going, oh, I got mom body, shape-shifting. My intention is to learn from all of nature and to allow myself to shape-shift when I need qualities that are not yet a part of my expression. Shape-shifting is the ability to transform your energetic field into the vibrational quality of an animal, other being, or element. This common practice among indigenous shamans was used for the purpose of healing and helping others. Shape-shifting can support you to embody power, softness, strength, fluidity, or other qualities to help you balance how you interact with life. You've come a long way, baby, is what I've heard. <laughs> wow, so on this transformation, the lovers, oh, wow, okay, so you've changed, okay? You've changed since the last time i seen you. You've changed since last year. You, you're different. You're not that same little fuck up kid or that fucked up teenager that you used to be or that same hot mess that you used to be you know why because hano hano honored glorious you transmuted your shame you changed the way you felt about yourself inside okay and it shows it's now showing transmuting shame okay being at one with the self a whole new person my intention is to have compassion for myself, my choices, and my challenges, and to replace my shame with love, honor, and tenderness. Shame is one of the many ways to experience yourself as not good enough. You are evolving, growing, and learning to do your best. At the core, you are a glorious being worthy of honor and love. Nothing that's been done to you and nothing that you've done is served by feeling shame. What serves is to honor yourself by being tolerant and compassionate as you gain wisdom from your experiences and learn to do better. Bam! That's what I said. <laughs> okay. Pahu hopu nui. Grand aspirations. Soul purpose. Yeah, a lot of people are realizing I know what I'm here for. Okay, soul purpose. Look at that. 26. Uh, 33, 33, healing that comes to a balance through power, empowerment, okay? My intention is to make an unwavering commitment to fulfilling my life's purpose by standing by my dreams, ideas, and aspirations. Your soul came into your body with a grand aspiration for you to fulfill in this life. That aspiration informs every idea and desire that you have. Each day, each moment is an opportunity for you to make an unwavering commitment to fulfilling your soul's purpose and achieving your dreams. Don't allow daily obligations or social pressures to derail you from this purpose, right? Right? <laughs> okay. Ho'oku, service. It is number 38. Powerful, powerful joy to fulfill. Yeah, legacy. A legacy of joy service my intention is to humbly ask and I said that word earlier how can I serve 
how may I help you? <laughs> and to honor and support, that's it, the nurturing protection. How can I help? I'm here. I'm here for you. How can I help? What can I do for you? Yeah, it's right here in the cards. They don't lie. How can I serve and to honor and support myself as I offer my gifts to the world? Service is the act of offering your gifts for the good of others and the planet. It is essential that you include yourself in the equation of those you are choosing to serve. Taking great care of yourself enables you to thrive and be more effective in your service to others. Service in balance with self-care and aligned with your highest truth will always be right for all concerned. Beautiful. All right, you guys, that is your weekend edition. I'll see you guys on Monday. Love you. Take care.